For Global Medical News Network, this is Miriam Tucker reporting from the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia. Pertussis continues to be one of the vaccine preventable diseases that we're not doing very well with. And so for more than a year now, the pertussis work group of ACIP has been reviewing the use of pertussis vaccine. And the importance of this has recently been illustrated by the outbreak of pertussis in California as well as in a number of other states around the country. And so what uh, the ACIP did yesterday in our meeting was to uh, expand the use of pertussis vaccine primarily to eliminate barriers that physicians face and the general community faces in getting immunized against pertussis. So the specific changes in the recommendation that have been made are to allow use of pertussis vaccine in adults 65 years of age and above, particularly those adults who have very close contact with young infants, and also to allow use of that same vaccine, the Tdap vaccine in children between seven and 10 years of age. And the rationale for that is that those two groups are among the family members who expose young babies to pertussis. And it's young babies who get very ill with pertussis and contribute almost all of the hospitalizations and deaths that we see in the United States from pertussis. And in addition, we've clarified the language about the interval between the Tdap vaccine and any preceding vaccines and, and clarified that at this point there is good evidence that Tdap vaccine can be given regardless of interval from previous TD vaccine or DTAP vaccine in the case of young children. So the efforts are to make it easier for physicians and the community to get immunized against pertussis so that hopefully we can start to decrease the level of disease in the community and certainly stop the outbreaks that are happening now. Mm -hmm.